So I'd like to thank everybody involved in the Archiver project, particularly the European Commission and of course the buyers that have invested lots of their time and energy into making this project a success. Without their involvement, uh, their commitment to the project, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, so thank you very much on behalf of everybody at Archive. And we think that the potential at the end of this project is huge. We're a relatively small software organization, but we have huge ambitions. Today, we work with customers in different markets and, and different geographies across the globe. But what makes the Archive project really special is that it's raised the awareness of long-term digital preservation and it's enabled us to accelerate solutions to the marketplace and it's opened the door for Archivum to be able to provide our solutions to the European scientific community. Of course, this is a PCP project, so the European money has allowed us to innovate. It's enabled us to provide new services that we wouldn't have been able to do so. Um, certainly not in the time frame that we've managed to achieve things in already. And of course, this is a major premise of the, of the entire program. I believe it's going to be great for the European scientific community, but also for our other customers in life sciences, heritage organisations and higher education institutes that will be able to benefit from the innovation and the hard work that the archive and team have been investing in the first two phases, but also into the, the third phase that we're just about to begin. Digital content needs to last longer than, than any particular technology, than any vendor, than, than probably any data centre or, or anything else for that matter. Because we're talking about the European open scientific community, I believe it's necessary to have a solution that isn't locked into a single vendor, that can be deployed in various locations and in a numerous different ways. This portability and, and no vendor lock-in, I think actually provides our customers with genuine content sustainability. Making fair in the long term, and not just today, is a really important part of this project. Ensuring that data is findable, accessible, interoperable and usable. How customers are going to make sure that it remains that way over its lifetime is absolutely key. Research data has value over decade plus timescales, so long term digital preservation techniques will help make data fair for the very long term, if not forever. Because we're very efficient in our use of resources, we minimise the use of power, we minimise the use of IT, of cooling and of other resources that are required to, to maintain infrastructures over periods of time. This efficiency helps to reduce the carbon footprint of our solution. But to take that a step further, we also deploy into GCP, so Google Cloud. So we can take advantage of Google's strong environmental and sustainability credentials. Google's data centers are already carbon neutral and they already offset their carbon. But we have the ability to deploy in Google data centers which have very high levels of carbon free energy as they're also powered by renewables. So it's possible as Google are completely transparent on the carbon impact to actually get reports on the CO2 production from our customers that will be running long term digital preservation in the cloud. And as a result, it will be possible for them to be able to monitor, manage and minimise the carbon impact.